Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And I am so excited that I am. It's time. It's time to set up my mega happy planner my franken planner for the month of april this upcoming month yes we are moving into april the fourth month of the year 2022 is steadily moving forward and we're heading into the month of april which is my birthday month so that's exciting this is one of my favorite videos to film i love getting into all of the new months for all of my planners. I Franken plan, so I combine several different planners into my perfect customized planner. And I only carry one month at a time because I have nine planners Franken planned into here. So I only have the month of March in this one planner. It's gonna be exciting to move into all of the new months. That's the beauty of Franken planning is that you get to play around with several different planners and see several different designs every time you get into a new month so yeah we're gonna be setting up this baby here I'm so excited and I'm just gonna be setting up my planner for the month of April I think I'm gonna switch out the cover because I kind of want to switch my cover every month just to keep things fresh and I'll be going through everything that I have in this planner switching some things out um, switching some things in, moving out all of the months of March, moving in all the months of April. So, um, so yeah, um, if you're interested in seeing how I set things up, just keep on watching. So I'm really tempted to keep the pressed florals cover because it's still so perfect for spring. But I kind of want to switch it up just because I have so many different planner covers um, that I think it'll be fun to just switch it up. So I think I'm going to go with this cover. This is a gardening planner that I picked up for next year. And it says, my garden is my happy place. We have a bunch of sunflowers here. This will be perfect for spring. So I'm going to go ahead and pop, off, pop these off the discs. And... Um, replace this cover here with this one. I don't really feel the need to switch up my cover page. I think I can leave it like this for now. I like the stickers. I don't mind that at all, but here, let me make some room. My planner is so thick. You can see how much uh, paper is on this side of the planner. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave my table of contents. I'm gonna leave my year at a glance. That's fine. My bookmark, um, yeah, this is fine. And I'm going to leave in my New Year's resolutions, kind of like my vision board there. My sticky note dashboard is going to stay in. My morning routine is going to stay in. My uh, whiteboard dash is going to stay in. I am going to take out all of my daily pages that I have um, set up. Uh, well, I guess I only have two, really, two sheets of daily pages. I'm going to take these out. I don't need those anymore. I'm going to leave this one in here because I can use the back of it. So I'll just leave that in there. I have a few pages um, that I can leave in here as well. I'm not going to add any more filler pages because this planner is thick enough already. And this is where we start switching up the pages. So for my first planner section, and this is not going to be a flip through. If you're interested in a flip through of my March, um, my March setup, um, I just filmed that. So that's definitely going to be on my channel um, by now. But I do want to share the planners that I that these pages come from. So I'll briefly, you know, flip through them a little bit. But so this is the month of March. I'm going to go ahead and pull out these pages and replace them with the empty pages um, for the month of April. I'll pull out my bookmark here 
and I'll leave this last page in because it does have the April overview and also um, it's currently the 31st and I still have a few days left here in the week so I do want to work on this side of the weekly spread so it it's nice that I get to leave that in there even though we're not fully into the next month but I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off the discs pop them back into this planner here so we have um, the month of March will go here. And because I just started this in the month of March, I was using this undated uh, vertical planner also from, you know, Mickey Mouse and Disney collection. Um, I actually, this last uh, page here doesn't match with the, um, with the February um, weekly there, but starting in March, it does match. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the month of April here. Ugh, love the design of uh, the divider and I'll pop this in right here and I'm actually just gonna um, put the paper clip back onto the Gudetama divider usually I clip these pages together so that there's a seamless transition from the Gudetama divider to the April monthly and I don't have this weird random you know, last page of March. But again, like I said, I'm still working on this. It's only Thursday. I still have three days that I can work on that page. So um, I'm just gonna leave it kind of loose for now. And then we have the month of April, our monthly uh, calendar view, and the weekly pages as well. So there we go. My birthday is on a Friday this year. That's awesome. We have the overview of May, and I also have my sticker sheets. I in each one of my planners, each one of my planners has a specific planner theme and a sticker theme. I like to keep like each planner kind of with its own particular sticker aesthetic. And because this is an Oasis Disney Oasis planner, I like using Disney Oasis stickers in there. So I'm just gonna leave that in there. I'm going to leave my productivity stationery in this folder here. I am going to take out this um, this sheet. This is a Disney Oasis weekly overview that I use as like um, a week at a glance kind of sheet. And I just have my little comic book that I'm working on that I have tucked back here. And then we move on to our second planner. Oh, before I do that, I totally forgot to pop in my bookmark. So my bookmark, I am going to pop in right here. Um, this is, you know what though? I kind of want to change up my bookmark. I got a few new bookmarks. So maybe, maybe I'll change it up. I kind of want this. I kind of want to change up that bookmark for this one here. There we go. Okay, so now I have this new bookmark. And then, all right, so that's set. And then, okay, moving on to our second planner. So this is my uh, seasonal doodles planner. I use it um, for like my higher education work. It's a color block and I like using pastel rainbow stickers in this section. I did use um, one of the newer sticker books in this week and it was kind of like a tie-dye type of situation, but then I went back to my pastel rainbows. I'm gonna pull my bookmark out and then I'll leave that sheet in because again, I'm gonna use this uh, this sheet here and the April overview. So I'm gonna pop these back into the planner that you came from. I'm really excited to get into this one because the dividers are just so cute. So let's get, okay, that was January, February. Okay, oh, how gorgeous so spring and easter and lots of fun so let's pop those pages back in and then i'm gonna pull out these the month of april here oh that one's gorgeous too whoever designs these is just such like they have such a creative spirit and i love that the little designs along the spine are the rainbows that's something i really liked oh actually i don't think they're rainbows i think for may they're rainbows and then for um 
April their flowers. Let me check on that really quick. Yeah, because the April overview there has the flowers along the spine. But let's see. Let's open it up. Yep, we have flowers going up and down the spine there. And the color block um, accents are pink and a little bit of yellow there on the weekend box. So we have that and... Um, I kind of also want to switch up this bookmark here. Let's see. Should I go with a Mickey? Mickey and Minnie bookmark? Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's switch out that bookmark and pop in this Mickey and Minnie bookmark. Really, really cute. Um, makes me so happy just looking at it. So let's pop that in there. I'm gonna have to like redate or like relabel all of the bookmarks that I'm popping in, but that's fine. So there we have the month of April. And then I have my sticker sheets here in the back. Um, I like carrying around with me like three to four sticker sheets that correspond to the sticker theme for each planner. So that way when I'm on my go, I don't need to carry around nine different sticker books so that I can, you know, sticker in the same style that I want to sticker in. I just have them tucked here in the back. And actually, I'm not going to bother putting on the paper clips for now. I'll just leave them to the side there. And uh, yeah, I'll handle them when I when I want to. So I'm going to pull this bookmark out because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with it yet. And this is my science communication section. I'm using a Colorful Dogs vertical planner, really, really cute planner, and I wasn't able to work too much in this planner um, this month because I was so busy. I mean, you'll see, like, as I flip through this, um, as I flip through uh, my Mega Happy Planner here, you'll see, like, how empty a lot of the pages are, but, you know, it's fine. It happens. So I'll pull out these pages. I'll leave this page in because again, it's the last, you know, the last page of the month. I have my April overview here. I'm gonna pop these back into the colorful dogs. So let's get into April here. So this is the April divider, really, really cute. Um, let me pop these guys back in and pop out the month of April. Put that away then i can slide these pages back in i'm actually gonna leave this um drawing here just because i really like it i'm really happy with how it turned out so yeah i'm just gonna leave it here um in the tucked away in the back and oh well, you know what honestly let's just go ahead and pop on the safety uh, the safety pins the paper clips back onto the dividers before i forget so let's get that done with I always tuck them there at the bottom. Um, there we go. So we have that. The month of April. It's dated, vertical. I really want to get back into my science communication work this month. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. And here's my colorful dog stickers. And then we have my fourth planner. This is my um, current events planner. It's a colorful leopard planner so this is the planner that these pages come from i think i'm gonna also switch up this bookmark just because blue is not my favorite color and i try to avoid blue as much as possible so yeah look some of these weeks i just wasn't able to do too much and um, how I use this planner is for the monthly, I write down like the most um, compelling headline that I read uh, that day or the most important or compelling news item I listened to on the radio. So just looking at the month, it gives me a glance um, or just kind of like it gives me like an idea of what happened in the world, um, you know, during that month. So and during the and for the weeklies, I like write down notes about different articles, news articles I've read and such. So we'll pop out these pages, put them back into the planner here, and then pull out the month of uh, April. So let's see. Oh, I love that. I love this design so much. That's the design of the uh, cover page. So we'll pop that in there, pop out this guy. 
and let's see, tuck this in here, and there we go. It's been so much fun having this current events planner. It definitely did what I wanted it to do, which was motivate me to read more articles, listen to the news, stay informed. But I definitely don't think um, I will go on to have a whole planner dedicated to current events um, in the next year. And I might even stop it in July because I'm moving into a new planner system. But I spent a year, about a year in this planner as a current events planner. And I definitely feel like it's motivated me um, and kind of instilled in me a habit of being like of listening to the news and of reading articles and being informed. So I'm happy with um, how that, how my experience with this current events planner went. So I'm gonna pop in a bookmark here and, oh, I totally forgot to, uh, oh no, wait. Mm, yeah, I forgot to put in my bookmark for my science communication work, which I think I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it as this floral bookmark. I don't wanna change this. I like the floral bookmark. So I'll leave that there. Okay, moving back to my current events. I use two different um, bookmarks in this section. And I just recently picked up a bunch of new dashboards. So I think this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be like a nice chance to get into some of these new dashboards. Ah, I got some junk on this dashboard. I don't know what happened there. So I'm gonna pop in this dashboard here. This is a Mickey and a mini one from the like the minimal collection. So that's gonna be my dashboard for the monthly view. And then I'm gonna pop in this one. Or honestly, I'm gonna pop in maybe this black and white polka dot. Or no, I like this one. I'm gonna pop in this kind of, I don't know what design this is, like stripe design. I'm gonna pop that in for the weekly. So I have that there. Then my monthly, the month of April, my stickers. And then we get into my fifth, my fifth planner. I always forget at this point what, what number things are. Okay, this is my my fifth, it's my fifth one, but this is my spirituality planner and we're gonna pull out these pages here. Let's pull this out. Uh, oh, I did have fun with this faith planner, but um, I just didn't have a lot of time this month to, to faith plan. So we're gonna leave this guy in here. I do like this bookmark, so I kinda wanna leave it kind of want to leave this bookmark in here for spirituality so i'm just gonna leave that there don't forget to put my paper clip back on and then the planner that i'm using for this section is this promise uh god is a promise keeper faith planner and i am going to get into the month of April here. I love how minimal um, and like calming the color palette in this planner is. So let's pop in the month of March here. And then pop in the month of April. So that is my fifth planner. And then we have just um, some faith stickers there. I have my spiritual appendices back here. So it's my Aztec calendar and then some of my new moon and full moon um, journaling pages. I kind of want to clear these out. Um, I also kind of want to switch up the filler paper that I'm using here. Like I, I was using this um, Painterly Pastels filler paper from the Happy Planner, which has a lot of these designs on the side. And I kind of want to just switch it up to be just straight up, you know, blank filler paper. So I'm thinking about changing this up, but I don't want to rewrite everything. I also don't want to like, um, you know, rewrite everything and then use the washi tape or just like waste the washi tape. 
I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do here. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll take these out. They're, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take these guys out. So these are my new moon, full moon. Um, yeah, my new moon, full moon uh, appendices. They're just journaling um, like pages about you know the energy that each new moon and full moon brings. But I don't think I need to have these in my daily planner. I like having my Aztec calendar in here because, um, like, I like to reference it, and it's just two pages, so, like, I don't mind having it in there, but the new moon, full moon stuff, that's, like, 20 pages altogether. I mean, right now, I only have, like, four pages in here, but, like, I don't need to reference them unless, you know, it's the Cancer new moon or the full moon, and I don't know what's going on this month, what what zodiac sign the moon is going to be in when it's full or new so gotta check up on that but i'm gonna take those out for now so that's fine and let's see moving on to our next section this is our sixth planner i need to take out these pages this is my fitness planner and oh i need to start my fitness journey again as i always do because oh my goodness like so just life life has been so busy i haven't been able to um to work out as much as i want to but uh, you know i just got to get back on the horse so this is my fitness planner i'm using so let's move on to april let's pop in this month of march and let's grab april here Ooh, that one's so cute. Wow, look at her. She's doing the side splits. That's so hard. I can barely um, do my front splits. And that took me like two years to get to. I can't even imagine doing um, front uh, side splits. That's That seems so difficult. So let's pop in this last month or this last week here. We have the month of April. I'm going to really try um, starting tomorrow and over the weekend to get some good workouts in so that way I feel really prepared, you know, going into the first week of April. And also because I like, you know, um, uh, tracking all of my workouts like on a monthly scale, on the monthly calendar view for my fitness planner, like I do want to start off strong and, you know, start hitting, uh, getting a workout in every single day here. There was a time in my life where I was working out like, six times a week on average and that's totally gone by the wayside but i want to get back to that i know i'm capable of it so it's all a matter of finding the time and energy and just recommitting so there we go we have my fitness um my fitness planner there and for bookmarks i think i'm gonna stay with this uh this bookmark for the monthly fitness because I just it looks so fresh it kind of inspires me to eat healthy and then for the weekly I think I'm gonna go with this dream bookmark it kind of inspires me to you know continue chasing my dreams of being you know in the best shape of my life so let's put that in there and then let's see we have the weekly pages we have my little sticker storage sheet in the back with fitness stickers and then we have my wellness section and my wellness section this is the planner that i use for it it's the your soul is golden wellness planner from the happy planner and I have been slacking on this planner. Um, the only thing I really have been keeping on top of is the mood tracker, which I've come up with this idea of using the monthly calendar view as a mood tracker and doodling in it and then coloring the doodles um, to correspond to like my mood and emotions. I love when I am able to use this, but this is like one of the first planners that falls by the wayside. My self-care and wellness is probably the first thing that like falls, you know, to the side once I, you know, get really busy. That and working out. 
so again it's all a matter of recommitting um, so let's get back into this let's pull for pull for April it says slow down and enjoy the journey that is so true we live in a world where it's always go 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 and trying to be as productive as possible and sometimes it's just important to remember that we should slow down every once in a while so let's pop that back in here and then for bookmarks let's see what i i have going on so i always like to keep a bookmark on the monthly view mm, i'm thinking of hmm. i'm thinking of putting this guy in for my monthly view because it kind of matches like the peach peach pink accents up there and then for the weekly view which i think i'm gonna pop in here uh i still want to i kind of still want to keep mm, you know i'm gonna go with this one instead this one has like that same minimal color palette that i'm trying to go for so i'll go with the polka dots although i do really love this this dashboard so now we have my self-care set up and we have my self-care stickers there and we have here uh mm, you know what i think i'm going to switch out this bookmark this is my sleep bookmark well it's kind of like my spiritual or not my spiritual my wellness appendices so anything that's kind of wellness related but doesn't you know necessarily go into a planner so that's like my bedtime routine my sleep logs wellness journaling pages those go there and yeah i really like this dashboard i just got it i picked it up in the cosmic watercolor like release that came out recently i love it so let's do that and then moving on to my eighth planner this is my household planner and we're going to pull out that bookmark i'm gonna leave that last page in and let me grab that planner Ugh. here it is so this is the planner i'm using it is like the blush type uh, planner it's a dashboard and i love it because it's so neutral and it goes really well with um with the farmhouse theme that i'm trying to like stick in for my household planner i love that like farmhouse aesthetic i i like the aesthetic for my own house so yeah so let's grab this uh divider this is for the month of april it says be daring my darling uh, not my favorite divider to be honest i tend to like like more light colors instead of like dark uh dark dividers like this but you know i'm happy oh, with it so it is what it is so okay moving on pop all right all right so i popped in this last page here let me put in the paper clip before i forget let's pop that in here okay so now i have the last uh the last page of march and the april overview here i kind of want to get into this um this page tonight because it's currently Thursday evening and it's the first time in a while that I feel like I've have some time to like reorient myself and figure out what's going on with my household. I've definitely let my household kind of like fall apart as I've been super busy. So there's tons of things to do on my chores list. So I think I'll get into that later, but we just have classic dashboard uh, pages for the weeklies very neutral i'm going to keep my farmhouse dashboard here uh, so let me pop that back into the planner it goes really well with my uh, farmhouse and homebody aesthetic that i like to go for in this planner so we have that Ooh, it's really really chunky i have just a folder here in the back that i have some just like some important documents there and my farmhouse stickers in my little sticker sheet 
And then we have my last planner. This is my meal, um, my meal planner. And so excited to get back into this one. I have been so bad about meal prepping and meal planning for the last couple of days, uh, for the last couple of, well, for the last two weeks. And again, it's a combination of, um, of being really busy and not being able to meal prep, meal plan, but also I've had family and friends in town. And so whenever there's people in town visiting, we always are eating out and stuff. So haven't really been in the planner too much. So this is the meal planner that I use. So let me get into the month of April. Oh, love that. Love a good fresh bread. So excited to have that in my planner. Let's pop this guy back in for the month of March. And then, huh, I have, <laughs> okay, I have like a random. So this page is actually from a dashboard uh, Mickey, color block Mickey planner that I accidentally popped in there. So I need to return this to its proper planner. And then let me get into, okay, here we go. So I'll pop in the last month and I will continue to use this home body dashboard just because it's again like reminiscent of that whole like home body lifestyle. And I feel like my meal prep planner is kind of like, it goes hand in hand with my household planner. So I'll leave that there. And I'm gonna take out these grocery lists. I don't really need them anymore. I'm gonna leave in my meal prep stickers and my folder with all my fun uh, like food food stickers. And that's it, that's the complete setup. Really excited to get back into my planner in the month of April. I definitely am gonna have a lot more time in this month because I just, you know, I had tons of like things going on in March. It was definitely a really busy month for me, but always excited to, you know, return to my planners. I have a couple of dashboards here um, that I have left over. I might see if I can get some use out of these in my other planner but I just had like I just picked up a bunch of new dashboards so uh, I was happy to to pop them into my planner so there we go that's that's uh, that's the entire setup uh, let me know how your setup is going let me know if you're changing anything out of your planner I am not changing anything out this month um, I did change around a couple of things like in March and I'm sticking with those changes for now. So there's no major switcheroos going on for me besides um, probably switching out all the dashboards. I did switch out a good number of dashboards. So that's probably the major um, thing going on with me. But yeah, let me know uh, how, you, how you're doing, what's going on with your life. I would love to know. And thank you so much for tuning in to another planner video. I really appreciate all of the support um, and kindness that you show me here on my channel. So thank you so much. And um, I hope to see you in a, a, a following video. Uh, yeah. All right, everyone. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye.